In this video, we are going to look at uh, role naming convention <coughs> best design. Uh, so first thing what we want to do is we want to look at how many teams do we have and how many sub teams do we have. So this will be a good information we need to collect. So let's say example, we want to create a role for finance. So we say Z, FI, that's finance. Okay, and also we can also include <coughs> uh, if it is single role yes and uh, you can also say <clears throat> this is for production p and sub team asset management asset display and then zero 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 zero, zero, zero for a company code or plant location so you have <coughs> You have finance, FI for finance, S for single, P for production, asset management, asset display, 0, 0, 0. The other option is, you can just say ZP, Z for production, okay, finance, FI, EC, ECC, okay, single role, asset, display zero 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 okay the other option could be <coughs> zpfi ec yes or you can say z s p for production ec fi asset display Zero, zero, zero. So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to uh, <coughs> give a name custom. So we can this can also be P for production, D for development, Q for quality, right? So role in PFCG it will let you start with any character you want. But if you want to just stick with Z, you can also stick with Z. So you want to identify whether this is a single role or composite role. You want to identify whether this is relevant to related to production. And then you want to also identify whether related to ECC or BI or XI or CRM, SRM. And then you can also say finance, team. And then you can also include asset management, sub team. Okay. And then you have a description. And then you can have 0000. zero, zero, zero. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, click below to subscribe and also click uh, the step by step guide and the SAP security policy guide for free. Thank you.